Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Randy Saves, and today I will show you my CVS haul for this week. The weekly sales ad started today, which is December the 10th, and it ends on Saturday, which is December the 16th. So unfortunately, I do not, I did not take an ad with me, so I do not have that to show you the different offers. But you can always go to cvs.com slash weekly ad and see it from there or just pick one up from CVS. So I did a total of two transactions. I entered the transaction with no extra care bucks, but I had a 25% off coupon that was sent to me. And I also had a 10 off of 40 uh, coupon as well. Um, so the first transaction... Um, I did decided to purchase the physician's formula. So they are in a promotion when you spend 15, you get a $10 extra care buck. The limit is one. So at my store, the quad eyeshadows are $7.79 and then the eye definer eye marker is also $7.79. So for the two of them, it was $15 and 58 cents. Um, but I did use two of the $4 off manufacturer coupon that came in today's insert. So after those two coupons, it dropped it down to $7.58. But then I got back the $10 extra care buck, which would have made it a $2.42 moneymaker. But I did use the 25% off coupon. So it was a bigger moneymaker for me. Um, the next item that I purchased was the CoverGirl. So I decided to purchase the... Offer for CoverGirl is spend 15 you get an $8 extra care buck. The limit is one, I believe. So um, the foundation at my store is $7.99, and then the pressed powder is also $7.99. So for the two of them, it ended up being $15.98. And then I used two of these manufacturer coupons that came in today's inserts. It's $2 off any one CoverGirl face product. So after two of those manufacturer coupon, it dropped it down to $11.98. But I did get back the $8 extra care buck, making it $3.98. But there's a $1.50 cash back from Ibotta, making it $2.48 for both of them, or about $1.24 each. But like I said, I did receive that 25% off, so it made it a moneymaker for me. And the next item that I purchased was the Almay uh, makeup remover. They are normally priced for $6.29. I had a personalized coupon for $4 off any Almay product or cosmetic. So I dropped it down to $2.29 and the 25% off did apply as well. Um, the next item that I purchased was the Revlon um, Kiss Balm. They're normally priced at my store for $4.79. Um, and I did have... It's the Redbox machine is printing out a $5 Revlon coupon for everybody this week. So after that coupon, it made it free. It just adjusted down to $4.79. And last but not least, I did have a coupon for a free Clairol Root Touch-Up. So I decided to purchase it. They are on promotion for $2 for $14 or $7.49 each. Um, so my subtotal was $50.13. I used the $10 off of $40 and also the 25% um coupon and all my coupons and CVS coupons so after that my total dropped down to three dollars and 31 cents plus tax I had no extra care bucks to roll just the personalized coupons and there you have it there so 331 plus tax so um, after I ended this transaction um, it printed out the $10 extra care buck for the physician's formula and then the $8 extra care buck for the cover girl making it a $14.69 moneymaker for me. So I think that was a great, great deal. And then I did also receive the $1.50 uh, uh, cashback from Ibotta. So that's great there. So in my second transaction, um, I decided to purchase uh, other items. So um, the all the uh, Gliss hair product, uh, shampoo and conditioner, the hair color, the renews it are part of that deal. I believe the got to be is also part of that deal. And uh, Right Guard deodorant is also part of that deal. So the deal is when you spend $20 on select items, you get a $7 extra care buck. The limit is one. So I decided to purchase uh, two of the All Mighty Pack. Um, there are buy one, get one free. At my store, they're $7.79. And then I decided to purchase two of the Gliss Shampoo. One shampoo and one conditioner. They're on sale for $5.99 each. And then I decided to purchase one Renews It, which is on sale for $0.89. Cents. So for the five items, it was $20.64. I used two of the $2 off one manufacturer coupon for the all, which is available on coupons.com. Not sure if it's still available. 
And then I used uh, the manufacturer coupon for the Gliss, which came out in last week's inserts, I believe, for $4 off of two. And then I had a personalized coupon for $1 um, off any Gliss hair products. So after that, it was $12.64, but I did get back the $7 extra care buck. So it was $5.64 for the five items. Not the best deal, but um, these are the items that I wanted and had coupons for. The next item that I um, purchased in this transaction was uh, three of the Hallmark cards. So they're on a promotion for uh, buy three, you get a $2 extra care buck. Um, the price has to be one $1.99 or up. So I purchased three that are priced at $2 each. So it was $6 and then I had a coupon for $3 uh, off, it's a CVS coupon, $3 off Hallmark cards, $1.99 and up. So after that, it was $3, but I did get back the $2 extra care buck, making it uh, $0.67 cents per card. I know you can get uh, cheaper cards at the Dollar Tree, but um, I wanted to take advantage of this deal. The next item that I purchased was the trolley. So they are on sale for $2, and when you purchase one, you get a $2 extra care buck. The limit is one. So it makes it free after extra care buck. So um, in my first transaction, I did notice that at the bottom of my receipt, it said that I needed to purchase $92 in cosmetics, um, which there's a promotion when you spend 12, you get a $4 extra care buck. In that promotion, the Almay and the Revlon are together. So um, when you spend $12 in those, uh, in Almay and Revlon or just Revlon, you get a $4 extra care buck. Um, I believe the limit for that is, um, I believe it's six. Um, so to be able to get that $4 extra care buck, I decided to purchase this Revlon Kiss Balm again, uh, $4.79, and I did have another um, personalized coupon for $3 off, so it made it um, $1.79 after that coupon. And then I also purchased another Physician's Formula product. This one is $7.29 at my store. I used that $4 off manufacturer coupon, making it $3.29. And the reason why I purchased that is because um, in my first transaction, after um, everything printed out, I had a $10 off of $50 purchase, so I wanted to reach $50 to be able to use that coupon. I also purchased this gingerbread kit, house kit. They're on sale for $5.99. Um, great thing to do with my daughter. So $5.99 for this. And then just I needed some bread. So I decided to purchase the Nature's Own. Um, they're on sale for $2.49. And then my daughter's favorite treat, which is the Nature's Valley. They are on sale for $2.49. So in my second transaction, my uh, subtotal was $51.71. Um, I did roll that $18 in extra care bucks from the first transaction and I used a 10 off of 50. So after all those coupons, my subtotal was $5.80 plus tax and you can see everything that I purchased there. So the only problem that I had was with the Revlon coupon it adjusted down to $1.91 so I will call CVS for that. So. Uh, $5.80, but I did get back a total of $15 in extra care bucks, $7 for the Gliz, uh, $2 for the trolley, $2 for the um, for the cards, and $4 for the Revlon Cosmetics. So, um, after extra care bucks rolled and received, it was a total of $8.80, so my, transac my second transaction was $8.80. But... Um, the, my total overall, my total out of pocket was nine, $9.11 before tax, um, but I left, I still have $15 in extra care bucks. So um, my total for the whole transaction was $4.89 moneymaker, and then I received the $1.50 for my bada. So this transaction was a good moneymaker. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.